Oh, yeah, baby. 20 seconds. One. It's the loneliest number. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, that smells delicious. <laughs> Ew. All right, that's it. <clears throat> that's how we're going to start the show. Slamming our fingers, no, our palms on the tabletop. There is no other way to start the show because why? We're extremely unique. Good evening, everybody. Uh, you watching Talking with Terry and Nikolai? Only there is a little surprise. Terry is not here, so you're watching only Talking with Nikolai. Tonight, with me in this room, it's a special place. I have a very interesting fella. He's mysterious and unique. <laughs> he is a producer for tonight's show. The secret name that his parents gave him is Malik. I'll give him applause. Thank you, Malik. Woo! That's right, that's Malik's <laughs> voice saying yes, thank you. <laughs> so, if you're not feeling the winter, I will feel it for you. See, that's why I have sun behind me. The radiant sun that sends the rays of light and warmth back into your apartment. So if you have a special someone, if you don't, if you don't, it's, that's okay. I'll show you how to do it. If you don't, but I'll show you also if you have. So what you have to do, you have to say, "Honey, honey, come here, honey, come here," and honey would be like, "Yes, what did you call me for?" But honey, out oh, there, my, my, one second. This performance will be a little bit delayed. Please, one second. I will replay the whole thing. So, you're sitting like on a couch. This is you. Like drinking whatever you're drinking. Like, oh, this hot tea with honey is so good. Honey! Speaking of honey. Honey, where are you? And then the honey will come in. Like, yes, yes. What he, my lovely, lovely husband, boyfriend, slash, I love you. I love you, honey, too. Thank you for the tea. And that's how marriage works. That's my interpretation. See, there is no big shebang or baba boom. Is somebody's drinking tea and another person getting admiration. You know, somebody has to give compliments and another person has to eat the fruits of their labor. Sometimes they share, but it's impossible to do it in the same time. So, that's the nuggets of wisdom I can share with you on this Monday, cold Monday evening. Another thought is when you don't have the honey, you have to invent it. And that's when the Hollywood will come in, will mess with your mind. That's what they do in Hollywood. They mess with your imagination. Actually, you probably don't think so, but the reality is when you don't have imagination, you go and borrowing imagination from the professionals who work in Hollywood. So take that note. So, but when you're imagining by yourself, it's a totally different story. Because then you can say, honey, why did you make this tea for me? And then you can answer it in your own voice to yourself. Because you did it for yourself. And sometimes it's better to do it by yourself for yourself. Honey. Okay? And if you're not pro following what I'm saying, that's okay. Because we're all on this journey into the vacuum of human imagination. Nobody can stop that. It's always going to be following. If one person have that imagination, it will be going to next step, and the next step, and the next step. 
See, it's, it's not as easy as you might think, but actually I want to show you uh, one of the resolutions people would be working in 2013, 2014. See, I'm mixing up the years because I don't know, even know what year I'm living in. I'm always living in the moment, okay? I only know that the temperature is cold and uh, we had a New Year celebration. That's it. That's all I care about. And maybe hot tea with honey. That has two meanings, by the way. Hot tea with honey. You can have a hot tea with honey in it, or you can have a hot tea and your honey girlfriend slash wife would be sitting next to you. All right, that's very deep. I have to give myself a tip. But since I don't have any coins, I'll throw myself a little bone. What do I have over here? What is it? Oh, ho, ho! Ow! Congratulations. I'm a winner. New year, new challenges, new resolutions, new problems, new headaches. How is it possible? Because we humans, we create habits that we cannot break. Today I'll show you how to learn new habits that will break the old ones. And it's based on neuroplasticity of your brain. Big words, yes. But also it can, you can get the big results. I don't know which ones. See, big words came out, out of my mind, which I can't even sum it up. Thank you very much. Hey, how come you don't bring up the tip jar when, when Terry's here? It's a very interesting question, Malik. <laughs> 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 because I don't know. I really don't know. It's a very interesting question. I thought about it, and I think because I need to do something for myself, and I like to give tips to myself. <laughs> With Terry, it's not going to fly. It's not going to fly. She would be like, she throw this jar at me. <laughs> She'll take the cash, and then <laughs> she throw it at me. See? Relationships are hard. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. But Malik got a very, very valid point. To which I don't have an answer, my darlings. My dear, dear darlings, I'm touching this table because it's very smooth. All right. So what I want to, to, to say about the habits. Remember, ha Malik, do you have habits? Yes. See, I have a habit. He has a habit. And I'm sure one of you definitely have a habit. For example, you don't even think for a second. Maybe even for half a second or three seconds, nothing. It never crossed your mind. Which hand to use when you brush your teeth? Hmm? Because it's a habit. But here's a kicker. Do you want to change your personality just a little bit? Use another hand. <laughs> See what's going to happen. I will demonstrate it today. I will, instead of drawing with the right hand, I will do some drawings with the left hand. Okay? So hold on to your head and move your couch closer to television set because it will blow your mind. All right? Look. Colorful. Colorful pens on a cold Monday evening. All right? Here's a piece of paper. So here's the science behind it. And I've been advocating it since I've been studying, uh, what did I study? History of mythology, you know? Which is, can be translated as a collective knowledge put in a simple storytelling form that can be passed from one generation into another. Huh? Is it too scientific? Yes. But it's also entertaining for kids and adults. Kids and adults, okay? By the way, here, 
paper. Okay, it used to be a tree. Now it's a piece of paper. I'm not. I don't want to make anybody guilty. So here's an exercise I will do, and you can do it at home with me if you want to. Then you can go deep into your subconscious and ask yourself a question: Why are you doing this? This is the question I ask myself when I'm all by myself. And I can't answer, answer this question because I'm here with Malik. <laughs> Thank you, Malik. So, here it is. I'm, usually I do everything with the, with the right hand. And uh, I'll do this like this. I'll do my first, like, uh, letter. Say this is going to be our letter. A, right? I did it upside down, by the way. Now, I'm not even going to look. I'll do letter A with my left hand, but it's not going to be capital letter A. It's going to be different letter A, small one, maybe in a different font. And uh, it looked like letter A. Yeah, I did it. I did it. The cursive one, that's impressive. Right? Upside down with left hand. Po! <laughs> po! <laughs> I know. Do right? It wasn't it something? <laughs> My God. I deserve, since I run out of coins, I was going to green to staple or whatever. I'm going to tip jar. <laughs> okay? I'm excited. I'm excited. See? And now, I'm not even going to analyze it, but I'm just, just going to draw another letter. That's what I will do. I will do it on, on this side of the paper, right over here. Oh, I'm not going to draw a letter. I will draw myself because it's much more interesting. Not with the right hand, with the left hand because that's how questionable my personality is. By the way, would you um, trust a man who has questionable personality to handle your finances? Probably not. Why did I ask you that? Because I just saw this movie, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Right? People are so upset, so upset. I think it's like nothing but naked. There is some nakedness. <laughs> Definitely some nakedness in there. And uh, what I, you know, I don't what I didn't understand. Like why people all upset like about Wall Street. It's always been like that way. Money and uh, it looked like Teletubby. <laughs> My left hand drawing upside down. <laughs> Um, money and free time always equals to what? Not always, actually, but some enormous amount, amounts of money. Uh, drug usage and levacious activities with ladies, if you like ladies. Some people don't like ladies, so... But in general, Wolf of Wolf Street, right? So here it is. This is the exercise that I'm doing that's supposed to help me to think in a different way. I'm drawing using my left hand upside down by myself without parent, with the paternal, parenteral supervision. Adult supervision, that's what I want to say. Right? By the way, it's very tough to be adult. Yeah. Right, Malik? What do you think? Yeah, it's tough. Jesus, it's like all this responsibility. Please, give me a bit. Gee, like everybody's saying something, you have to do stuff. You know, when you're a child, everything you say, your relatives and everybody saying like, oh my God, that's so, you're so smart. 
You're so smart. You're so great. Everything you do is so great. You're like, mm-hmm. That's right. That's me. I'm so great. All right, those pens. So, pens, fingers, it's important. Oh, no. <laughs> One, two, three. Uh, it's very difficult to draw fingers with your left hand. That's all I wanted to say. So, and remember, this is not a drawing school. Ah! It's just an exercise for your brain to see things differently. Okay? Give him green hair. This guy looks like he needs green hair. Why, you ask me? I'll tell you why. Maybe he is a chia pet. I don't know. Maybe he's just growing grass on his head. Some people do that. When I'm in way too much into creative mode, I think about that all the time. Can I grow grass on my head? By the way, this is the type of questions you're only going to see on Manhattan Neighborhood Network on public access. Thank you very much. All right. So back to the topic, how hard it is to be an adult. All of a sudden, when you're adult, you're responsible. You're responsible for a lot of things that I didn't know that I had to be responsible for, like paying rent on time or making your own breakfast. Mm -hmm. By the yeah, right? Malik, by the way, do you make your own breakfast? No. So you're still stuck in childhood, <laughs> man? <laughs> I don't really eat breakfast. You don't even need? I don't really eat breakfast. It's well, rare. Really? It's rare. Oh, gosh. All right, well, that's not adult real adult situation if you <laughs> if you don't eat breakfast. I you know, it is nice when things are done for you. Yeah, sometimes. You know? Sometimes when, when it's not nice, what do you what would you say? Like when people like expect something. Like they do it and they expect something in return. Yeah, that's when it's that means being an adult. <laughs> <laughs> when people do something for you and they expect things in return, it's being adult. When your child, like, you know, they can expect something from you, but in reality, they, they still adore every little step you make. And you can see that from, pro from your friends on the Facebook. They put those pictures of themselves and their kids, and the kids doing some whatever they're doing. There is no responsibility whatsoever. OK, do I have anything to throw in there? That was very deep thought. Very deep. I have to find it. See? See how far we progress in this show? Yeah. I found a candy. See? I'm gonna reward myself with a candy. I only have one paper clip, a quarter, and that's it. This is gonna be my third reward. Congratulations. Oh thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you've been working so hard and this is the only way we can con con congratulate you. Thank you very much. I will continue my service extensively, whole hundred percent, hundred percent. I'll put in to, into this endeavor. Well, we expect you to continue put everything that you got. I will put more than I got. How is it possible? I don't know, but I will do it because I'm a hardworking individual with emotional problems. It's true. All right. So, hardworking individual with emotional problems. It's probably a description of me when I exited childhood. When you child, when you're a child and you have emotional problems, Everybody expect those, that those problems will go away when you're going to get adulthood, when you get into adulthood. But if they're not going to go away, you will be supplied with the endless activities by playing video games. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> ah. 
By the way, how do you planning to survive the cold that's coming up? Staying at home? Watching television? Solving crossword puzzles? <laughs> contemplating the future events? Or maybe planning your vacation somewhere in a golden beaches, somewhere closer to the south? Or north, depending on the time of the year. So, ah, uh, okay, I still have to, see, it's not as easy as you might think. I feel like this drawing is done, so therefore I will finish it, that's it, I give myself. Oh my god, this is me. Yes, it is, with the green hair. This is an A. I'll give myself an A. No, maybe not A. It's, this is A, B, C. Probably C. I'll give myself C. C plus. Plus for effort. All right. Back of being the child. Gosh, it is cold. Oh, I know what I will do. I will increase the temperature in this room by drawing a thermostat. Right, this is going to be our thermostat in Fahrenheit and in Celsius, right? That's what I will do. Here we have, um, uh, let's see, Malik reading something. This is going to be, Are you that? yes, <laughs> 30 degrees and this is going to be 80 degrees, 80 degrees. 80 degrees. Again. Is it 80, 30? 30, 80. Right now, it's minus 10. But with my magical pen, I will push it up. Push it up. It's going to be plus 80. Plus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's it. Now I'm starting to sweat. This is my sweat drops. Wow. 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 Okay. That's it. That's it for the drawing. Now it's, it's, it's very hot right here. It's very hot. It's hot. Yes, it's hot. We have it's orange, orange, and yellow. It's a hot colors. It's going to be hot. Hot. We're sweating together. Despite of amount of the body weight. Recently, I discovered certain developments on my body that made me question the timing. One of them is this. <laughs> it's growing, people. It's growing. It's very <clears throat> unfortunate sign of the time. But I'm trying to take it in like a real man. That's when the real man discovered that they have man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's like, I can't believe it. It's here. I thought they're not going to show up till later, but they're here, right here. Which made me a little bit socially clumsy, you know? A little anxiety sets it, kind of crept in. And there's no way to fight it. It's like you're going against the time. You can go against the time. That's we designed to have addition to our body right here some other people have somewhere else I don't know we have here remember it's still Monday you know there is nothing else on another channels so accept it embrace it the, uh, the college, the Super Bowl of college is on right now 
Yeah. Are you kidding? Really? Yeah. The Rose Bowl. It's probably freezing <laughs> over there. No, you're in like Florida. It's some place <laughs> warm. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! You know? Like, I biked here just to share all this with you. And now Malik just told me that there is people playing basketball in Florida. Football. Football. It's even more. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to be upset a little bit. But anyway, this is artsy fartsy show, okay? Yeah, different different target audience. Yeah, and I'm sure if you're in a haze of half asleep, I. You know what? This is actually. It's like I'm with you as your. Crazy neighbor, <laughs> you know, who show up on Monday and just chats away and share his ideas that has no merit whatsoever. But maybe it gives you some, you know, foundation to do something, okay? Other than watching other channels, like Bachelor. Do you watch Bachelor? Yes. No. My God, fascinating show. Fascinating. It's it's just watching like piece of meat thrown into the cage with monkeys and lions. It's Bachelor or Bachelor. You obviously you know what I'm talking about. Mm, I hate reality TV. Oh, they're they go. You know, I feel like all the reality TV will implode in itself. Just implode. <laughs> There's going to be one big giant hole, black hole, that will suck in all the reality television stars. And they will show up somewhere in Florida playing basketball. <laughs> ah, that was a joke, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to see. Speaking of reality television, let's get all the reality television stars and divide them in two what is it, teams, and let them play. They used to be, remember they used to do that? The MTV used to do like real, uh? real world versus road rules. Exactly, something like that. One minute. Oh, one minute, damn. That's, time flies. That was when reality TV was real. <laughs> yeah, real. Yeah. It's like I it's. These, I know these kids are watching now. I don't know, they're real, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, all the reality TV, they all like have to show that they're upset. I'm so upset! And then uh, they apologize. I'm sorry. That's it. I'm so upset, I don't know what we're doing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not sorry. No way. No, I will stay. I'll find out what he said next after these messages. Anyway, Monday's always all, almost over. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, and it's a brand new day. So wear furry underwear. It will be really cold. Or maybe not. I don't know. Enjoy. Okay, bye-bye. That was a good ending. Yeah. Have a furry underwear made out of the skin of the bear. It might be itchy, but who cares? <laughs> you will be warm.